Two more inmates have died from COVID-19 at the federal prison in Butner. That brings the total to 10. Now, according to the Bureau of Prisons, 157 inmates at Butner currently have the virus. Tonight, some of their families are frustrated, saying the prison isn't keeping them updated on their loved ones' conditions. CBS 17's Crystal Price is in Butner with that story. Yes, I've had several families reach out to me today saying that they've had to wait several days to get an update on their loved one's condition. And as the death toll continues to rise at the prison, many families are fearing the worst. I've really been stressed and depressed, worried about my child. Cheryl Harris is worried about her son, Larry. He's an inmate at the federal prison in Butner, and he's just been diagnosed with COVID-19. He called me on Wednesday state and that he could barely walk. He called me and said that he felt so bad he just felt like he wanted to come home and die. She says it's been one week since she's heard from him, so she tried to get an update from prison officials. And he said he couldn't tell me anything, so I said, well, is he dead or alive? He said, I don't know, just call back on Tuesday. Um, someone should be able to tell me something. Harris isn't alone. Several other families have reached out to CBS 17, saying that prison officials won't update them on their loved one's conditions either. Harris said as her son also told her there isn't enough soap or face coverings for the inmates to protect themselves. CBS 17 reached out to Butner Prison about these families' concerns, but we are still waiting to hear back. As the death toll rises at Butner, Harris says she's just praying her son is doing okay and that she hears something soon. It's very trifling to know that several inmates plus my child have caught the COVID-19 and they need help and they're not getting the proper help that they need. In Butner, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.